Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Taylor, a stay-at-home mom of two, and I share these real-life dinner videos every week to hopefully give you guys some dinner inspiration. If you like that kind of thing, I hope you'll subscribe down below. This week's video is a collab with three pretty new-to-me mamas. Their channels are Dizzy V, The Outnumber Mama, and Me Plus Three. They all do kids' lunch videos as well as other things, and they're going to be sharing kids' lunch videos today. Please make sure you go check out their links below. Now let's get into this week's what's for dinner. This night is Friday and I'm trying a new recipe for one pot taco pasta in the pressure cooker. As always, the links to any recipes I use will be linked down below. I'm starting off by browning one pound of ground beef on the saute setting. Once that's done, I'm going to add in everything else. It's one pack of taco seasoning, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, two cups of beef broth or as I'm doing water and bouillon cubes, and eight ounces of small pot stuff. This cooked on manual high pressure for five minutes, and then I did a quick release, tested the noodles to make sure they were done, and then I added a cup and a half of cheese and let that melt for a few minutes. Okay, here is the finished dinner. I just mixed all the cheese around in it, and that's my plate, and those are the kids' plates. We're keeping it simple tonight, just having this, because today was grocery shopping day, and I don't like to cook a lot on grocery shopping day. I just like to keep it really easy. So this pressure cooker has been coming in handy for making things really easy. This cooked for five minutes in there, and then quick release, so that was pretty fast at dinner. But yeah, we're gonna eat this, and I'll let y'all know how we liked it. So what'd you do? I got more. You got more? <laughs> she already finished her whole bowl <laughs> and asked for more. So <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. It was um, still hot too. Like Elijah's still over here blowing on his, but <laughs> somehow she managed to finish hers. I'm still over here blowing on mine, but she ate hers and she said it's so good. Yeah. Yep, and I agree. Very, very good. Would be yeah. good with some avocado on top or some sour cream or something too. So maybe next time. But this time we're just... an avocado. Avocado next, next time? Yeah, avocado. Okay. You want avocado too? <laughs> hey guys, it is Saturday and tonight for dinner we are making a broccoli rice and chicken casserole. Andy requested something with rice and chicken and cheese, some sort of casserole with those. So I went on Pinterest and I have made some like this before but I've never made this specific recipe. I found this, he said it looked good, I thought it looked good. So this is what we were trying. It looks super easy to put together. We just need some chicken. It says chicken tenderloins. I'm just gonna cut up these chicken breasts that I got into one inch pieces. And then we need a cup of rice. Her recipe said regular rice, but then people in the comments were talking about how the rice wasn't done. So then she edited it and said that she highly suggests that you use instant rice. So I got some instant rice. We're gonna use one cup of that. We're gonna need two and a quarter cups of whole milk, or I'm gonna use 2% because that's what we always use. And then we need a can of cream of chicken, some frozen broccoli, which is back here, the broccoli florets. And then I've got some sharp cheddar cheese. And we're just gonna mix all of those things together in this bowl. And then we're gonna transfer it to our baking dish and top with one sleeve of crushed Ritz crackers. And then it's just gonna bake for 40 to 50 minutes. That's it. Seems super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started.
I decided this needs some seasoning. So I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some black pepper. Okay, here's everything plated up. Mm -hmm. We got Elijah's and Molly's and mine. And I definitely already think that the broccoli should have maybe been cut smaller or used fresh broccoli and cut it really small. I don't know. I just think that the pieces of broccoli are too big. But I will let you guys know how I like this. And I cooked it for 45 minutes and everything is done. And yeah. It should be hot. Eat. It is Sunday and tonight for dinner we're going to be having spaghetti. And I actually picked up a spaghetti squash because I was really wanting it. And if you've cooked these before, you know that spaghetti squash takes almost an hour to cook, depending on the size in the oven. You cut it in half, you put some olive oil and some butter, or not butter, olive oil and pepper and salt on it. And then it cooks for, as I said, like 45 minutes to an hour, which is a really long time. And so I'm going to be making my pressure cooker. Hopefully this turns out. I found a thing. It says to cut it in half, remove the seeds, and then put it in your pressure cooker. I put a cup of water in the bottom because you want to make sure you always have some sort of liquid in the pressure cooker. So I've got that down there and then the little trivet thing so that the spaghetti squash isn't actually sitting in the water. The water is just in there to help it cook. And then we're just going to put this cut in half on the trivet. I am going to season it, I think, with some salt and pepper. It doesn't say that, but that's what I usually do in the oven, so I'm going to put some on there. And then it's just going to cook on high pressure for seven minutes. Dinner is done. Here is that spaghetti squash. I just used the fork and kind of scraped it out of there. Gave Lily a little bit and then I have a lot of it on my plate. So this like all the way to here is just spaghetti squash under the sauce. And then I just have a little bit of noodles. And for noodles, we're using these vegetable spaghetti noodles from Kroger. I've tried like um, some of the name brand ones. I can't remember who they are, but they have like some vegetable ones as well. And people have asked me if they taste different or anything. I don't notice a different taste with them. They taste just like regular noodles to me. They are like usually greenish colored or orangish colored. So that's them. And yeah, they just taste like regular noodles. So Elijah just has regular noodles with his because he does not like spaghetti squash. Yep. And Lily has a little bit of spaghetti squash yep. mixed in. And I use you my kitchen. Spaghetti sauce? And a little tip, if you have kids who like to eat their spaghetti with a spoon, Use your kitchen scissors to cut their noodles and it makes it really easy to cut up and really easy for them to eat and you can probably tell I haven't done dishes. There are no clean kids bowls. That's why they're using these like soup mugs. It's it's whatever. Um, I'm, I currently did the dishes but I have to start the dishwasher. But yeah that is going to be our simple spaghetti dinner for Sunday. Bye. It is Monday and tonight kind of turned into a eat whatever you want to eat for dinner night. The kids had grilled cheese and tomato soup. Here's the rest of the tomato soup. And I mean, I said that they had it. They didn't hardly eat their dinner and ignore the messy stove. But I didn't want that. So I made myself some avocado toast with some fried eggs. And there is everything seasoning on the avocado. Some wheat toast, two fried eggs with some salt and pepper on them. 
And Andy just informed me that he's going to eat the rest of this tomato soup with... These. Oh, the ones with the meatballs? Yeah. He's going to put the spaghetti <laughs> with the meatballs in the tomato soup. This is not the first time he's done this. And then I'm going to make two quesadillas. And then he's going to eat two quesadillas. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> and that's going to be what's for dinner for Monday. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and tonight for dinner we are having this white chicken chili that I made. And I topped mine with some cheddar cheese and some sour cream and some of these tortilla strips from Dollar Tree. And then the kids is back here. I'm going to top theirs with some cheese as well. They're probably just going to eat it with some tortilla scoops. So, yeah. I did not share the recipe for this in this video because it's actually going to be part of a Crocktober collab with Amanda over at Mom's Messy Kitchen. So come back for that on Tuesday to watch that. Yeah, that is going to be our delicious dinner for Tuesday. For Wednesday night, I had some chicken thighs that I wanted to cook. So I've got this rub and I'm putting that all over the chicken thighs. And then I placed them into the air fryer and brushed on some barbecue sauce. And I cooked them on 350 for about 11 minutes. And then I flipped them over, added more barbecue sauce, and cooked for another 11 minutes until they were all the way cooked through. To go with the chicken, I made some zucchini and I just fry it up in some oil and butter and this time I use Body Complete and some Tony's to season it. Okay, here is the finished chicken and then you saw I made some zucchini and then I also made some boxed mac and cheese. So here's my plate. I put some extra pepper on my mac and cheese and then the chicken thighs, like the barbecue sauce kind of like crisped up like it was like on the grill kind of. So it's kind of crispy, which is good. Um, yeah. So here are the kids plates and Elijah doesn't like zucchini so he just has cucumber. And that is going to be dinner for Wednesday. Bye. For Thursday, I'm making some Parmesan crusted tilapia. This is just a modified version of my cheddar crusted chicken recipe. I'll have a link to that down below. For this, I just mixed together some panko breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and I did both kinds of Parmesan cheese, some salt and pepper and Italian seasoning. Then for the tilapia, usually I season it with salt and pepper first, but I almost forgot to do it. So first I added on the sour cream and then I did salt and pepper. And then I just added all the breadcrumb mixture to the top and this baked on 425 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, here is the finished Parmesan crusted tilapia and then to go with it I just made some roasted potatoes in the air fryer and some green beans and this is the kids plates and we'll just have some ketchup with it too to dip our potatoes in. And that's going to be dinner for Thursday and that's going to wrap up another week of what's for dinner. Don't forget that this week's was a collab with three other mamas so make sure you check out their videos down below they did they all did lunch videos so please make sure you go check them out and let them know that i sent you over there as always thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here i'd love it if you'd subscribe down below and i will see y'all in the next one bye Thank <laughs> you.